discover something special about Mexican harvest and processed pineapples. Hello everyone! When it comes to the beautiful land of Mexico, many people will immediately think of a super rich culture. Coming to Mexico, being immersed in the jubilant space of passionate dances is not enough to feel all the beauty and unique futures of the country and people here. Mexico is also special in the speciality of tequila, a famous wine in the arid Mexican highlands ready to captivate anyone's tongue after once enjoying. Thanks to its rich flavor, tequila is loved by travelers all over the world and is considered a fine whiskey. Know a lot about tequila, but do you know what special ingredients this wine is made from? Look, it's these tangy Mexican pineapples that make tequila so irresistible. It is surprising that this giant pineapple-like fruit can create the most expensive drink in the world. Follow us today. Come to learn how the Mexican grow, harvest, and process these exotic pineapple plants. Don't miss this video. There are many interesting things waiting for you to discover. The English name is tequila. It's a flowering plant. This plant is in the same family as the asparagus plant that we still know. This plant is very popular and close to the people of Mexico. Today, in many places, agave is known as an ornamental plant grown around the world. Agave is over one meter tall with a globe-like shape, covered with serrated green leaves. From a distance, they resemble large pineapples with pointed leaves in common. When the inner green leaves are removed, the fruit looks more like a pineapple. Therefore, many people still consider this a special pineapple of Mexico and are even more surprised to learn that this giant pineapple tree is the golden raw material for the production of fine tequila. Based on centuries of know-how, agave is grown, cared for, and harvested entirely by hand. Very often, plants are pruned regularly to avoid premature flowering and death. From plots full of agave to successfully brewing precious wine bottles is a careful and meticulous process of the people. Agave plants have different characteristics and flavors depending on the topography, soil, and climate in which they are grown. In Mexico, home to beautiful towns and beaches, 98% of tequila is produced in two main regions. They can sometimes be referred to as valley and highland. In the picturesque valley regions, agave is optimally planted with nutrients and mineral-rich soils, which are ideal conditions for agave to grow, making this region the first to produce wine. Commercial tequila. You are invited to visit the vast sand dunes on the agave land in Mexico. These green agaves are easy to find on the Mexican mountain plateau, growing on sandy desert soils. Behind the large agave trees are dormant volcanoes, but still create a wild and bustling feeling. The warm climate and volcanic soil make this area perfect for growing agave. Are you curious how Mexicans grow agave? In fact, general care is not so difficult. No need to water and visit the fields often. Just plant the plants there and wait for the time to pass. However, they also require certain care such as mulching with a little mulch so seeds compete with the roots and a little fertilizer once a year. At first glance, I think growing agave is easy and nothing to worry about. In fact, while caring for plants is easy, turning them into tequila is an incredibly arduous process, especially the harvesting and processing. Each year, Mexicans use two acres of land just to grow agave, and they produce up to 15,000 bottles of tequila a year. Imagine an extremely sturdy agave tree, nearly two meters tall, and it takes eight to 12 years for it to form a pineapple-shaped heart in the center like this. Believe it or not, it can weigh up to 40 kilograms. It is this enormous mass that makes agave picking such a unique harvesting process. Follow me to see the unique Mexican way of harvesting agave. The agave fruit ripens when it begins to shrink 
and develop to a chestnut color with red spots on the leaves. It takes 8 to 12 years for agave to mature, but it's interesting because almost every year, Mexicans have different fields of agave to harvest. Harvesting and planting new, they rotate through each year to ensure the amount of wine needed to produce each year. When harvested, the leaves are cut off from the center. The thorny leaves will be cut away with super sharp, long-handled knives. Farmers harvest green agave and then cut it into circles to get the guts of the plant. One portion of this gut can produce up to 12 bottles of tequila. Without experience and skill, even this group of people could not harvest more than 100 fruits in a day. After harvesting the whole field with heavy, fragrant rhododendrons, farmers here will carry out transportation to the processing factory. If you don't know, in the past, Mexico used to use donkeys to transport after the harvest, but today, a series of specialized trucks will support very fast transportation. Harvesting is not the end of the process of growing agave on Mexican soil. Many people pay attention to turning them into tequila with a distinctive flavor. First, people will use a saw to cut off the tough, prickly leaves, revealing only the core of the fruit, which is often called the heart of the agave tree. And now, these hearts will be steamed for three days. You see, they finished steaming the fruit and started crushing it. Put the rhododendron carcass into a specialized extractor to break the fibers and the fruit. Squeeze it out and get all the juice from the inside. Melting. This is called juice extraction and is also the first processing step after the fruit is harvested from the field. And yet the juice is then fermented, double distilled, and bottled or aged in barrels. Fermentation can take place in wooden or stainless steel tanks. This fermentation process lasts about a few days depending on the manufacturer's calculation. These are the basic steps of winemaking process. However, in order to create for us a great tequila with aromas and flavors full of earth, spices, fruits, and herbs, winemakers in Mexico have a headache to consider. Thoroughly, from the land where agave is grown, the climate and altitude of the area, the location of the distillery, the source of the water, the type of yeast and brewing technique, all these factors influence the taste of agave, tequila. There are countless varieties of wine in the world. Among these, it is impossible not to mention the world famous tequila line, located on any wine shelf and a luxurious bar. It is also said that whenever there is a bar, there must be tequila. Entering bars, especially high-end ones in foreign countries, see the crowd gathering, laughing and talking, sharing a small glass of wine with the act of biting a piece of fresh lemon, sticking out the tongue to lick the salt sprinkled on their back of hands. Today, tequila has been widely popular in many countries. Mentioning tequila immediately referring to Mexico, this premium wine has become a symbol of Mexico, cultural pride, and recognized worldwide. If I get a chance, I'll definitely try it. And if you liked it, let me know what you think below. At these moments, the journey to discover the process of harvesting and processing giant pineapples in the colorful land of Mexico must also end and say goodbye to you. Remember to click like, subscribe to the channel and press the bell button to see more interesting discovery videos. Goodbye and see you again.